Hello guys, welcome back to SI Technologies. So today I'm going to resume our interview question series, going for the at least day after day, at least one video going to be uploaded. So it will be happening next one month. So whatever the latest interview questions, which is going to be available in our channel. So please be subscribed and as well as, you know, do comment what kind of questions which you want, which you want me to answer. And let me get into the question today. Why, sir, today you have mentioned ETL testing or data engineering interview question. So if you understand this question, right? This question is asked in as part of my interview, my own interview, as well as, you know, some of my students interview also. So that is the reason I have mentioned this question is as part of the both ETL testing or data engineering interview questions. So let's get into the question. The question is here, very simple. I have created the table. So the table is having source as well as target messages. Let's understand we are sending a, like, you know, Facebook or Instagram, whatever the message is. So whenever we send, right? So for example, Ravi is the Ram is the. Let me go ahead and take it up the, let me run the query. So here you can see Ravi and Ram. Source is Ravi, target is Ram. Between them, 20 messages. Again, Ram and Ravi. Both are same. Again, what is the message count? It's nothing but a 30 count. And Suri, Suri, and as well as Sati. Message count is 5. Charan and Sati, 10. Now, if I can ask you the simplest question, what is the what is the message count, oral, oral message count between the Ravi and Rav, Ravi and Ram? So very simple, right? You can see by looking at it, you can mention 20 plus 30. It's nothing but a 20 plus 30. It's nothing but a equals to 50. This is what you are going to give me the count. But how can you calculate this? It's very simple. How can you calculate this? So let me do it in a simplest way. Select what is there in that? Select source and target and sum of sum of messages messages from from transactions. This is the table. And simply you can do group by source comma target. If you do that automatically, the count will come. What is there in that? It's a very simple question, right? Why are you worrying about it? Can you see here, is it coming in a, as expected? Is it coming as expected? No, right? When you are doing group by, okay, source and target, here combination is different. Source is one time Ravi and target is Ram. Second time, source is Ram, target is Ravi. So here the combination is same. Okay, if you observe, both are same. But source and target is different. So when you ask between the Ravi and Ram, how many messages count is there? Then you should count it as 50. So how can we solve this? Very simple. Generally, how can we solve it? Let me give it very simple way. So we can use the case statement. Select case when source is greater than target. Source is greater than target. Then source. Else target. So what I'm doing here, here I'm doing very simple alphabetical comparison where here I'm comparing when source is greater than target. Okay, then print as a source. Else print the target. And I'm mentioning as end and as source. Just keep it as like this. And the same thing, I'm going ahead and I'm going to pass it here one more time. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to do vice versa. So what I'm going to do, source is less than target, then source, else target. So here you can mention as a target. Simply. Now you can go ahead and you can perform this. Simply you can perform this transaction. Let's look at it. So here the combination is coming correctly. Here previously Ram Rav, Ravi Ram. Now here Ravi Ram. Now you can look at it. It is going ahead and it is going to print. Both the combinations are same. Now you can do one thing. Simply you can mention what is that? Messages. You can mention that. So now you can see here messages are there. Now you are getting this. Now simply you can write inline view A group by group by source comma target. Source comma target. Now here you can look at it. Select select source target source target sum of sum of messages. Nothing but a 
as total messages. Simply you can write it up like this. From, so you can write it up in line view, very simple way. This is the way you can write it up so that it is going to be very easy to do that. Now you can see whatever the expected output. So simply what you are doing, you are making a single combination, Ravi and Ram as a single combination so that you are going to get as a single combination. So once you get it, then you are keeping alias names. That alias names you are keeping, you are doing the group by. So there is a one more interesting question which is asked in ETL testing interview question. For example, let's say, let's create a one table. That table is nothing but a create, create, create table, table name. Nothing but a, what is the table name we can take it up? Let's say customer's table, customer's table. Within that customer ID, okay, number here, number 10, and as well as first name, just to make you aware of it, just I'm writing it up a symbol. Last name, Varkar 2. Varkar 2. Here, 20. And then, type of transaction. Type of transaction. Type of transaction. Let's take it up. It's nothing but a string. Here, Varkar 2. Okay. Let's take it up 30. 30 characters and then and then amount here the amount nothing but a number number 10 okay now we have created a table just to understand this and then after that how case statement is going to help you as part of your day-to-day -day work simply insert into insert into what is that table table name is customers so here Customers and directly I'm not keeping the column names. Well, his first name is nothing but a triple one. Let's check it up. Triple one and name is let's let's keep it my name, Ravindra. And then what we are doing? We are going ahead and we are taking it as a type of transaction. Now I'm taking it as a deposit. Okay, I'm depositing the money. How much money I'm depositing the one lakh rupees? So take it up. This is the first record. Now same thing. Okay, same thing. I'm going to and I'm going to I'm going to even take what simply I'm going to withdraw the money. Next day I have a I need it. I need that money withdraw it. So I'm going to withdraw it, nothing but a ten thousand for my personal expenses. At the same time, other customers are also there. Let's say here double one two. Here also double one two. Okay, here I will take my friend name, Surendra. Surendra. Surendra and here also Surendra. Surendra. Now here deposit is nothing but it. Here he deposited as 2 lakhs. Okay, and here he withdraw 24,000. So now think of it, this is the data which they have given and now just submit it. So the question is here they have asked, okay, select star from customers. This, if, if you are like, you know, if you think this is the insert statement, sir, I don't want this much time, just make it 2x and then complete this portion. Then after that, you can go for the actual question. So the question is, Question is, get me the, get me the, each customer account balance, account balance, okay, account balance. What is the current balance? Okay, simply get me the customer current account balance. When I say current account, what is the exact balance which they are having it? So first day they have insert, deposited, Nothing but a one lakh rupees. Next day he withdrawn ten thousand. So what is the overall balance? If I remove, if I calculate it, one lakh minus ten thousand, which is nothing but a ninety thousand. Two lakhs minus twenty four thousand, which is nothing but a one lakh seventy six thousand is the current account balance. What is the balance in balance in account? Okay. So this is the question. How can we solve this? Very simple, right? Select 
select customer id customer id okay then what you have to do what you have to do simply what you have to do here this is where actually case when case when okay case when okay type of case when type of transaction is this is very very important okay type of transaction equals to deposit okay deposit then what we can mention it's nothing but a amount else we are mentioning as zero as zero the end okay this is what we can call it as deposit balance deposit balance okay or you can mention deposits and at the same time we want withdrawal also right suppose if i can remove withdrawal then only we can get it so what you can do simple type of transaction equals to withdrawal then then only we can get the withdrawals withdrawals okay withdrawals now what we want it what we want it we want it at individual customer level or we want it to sum it up we want it to sum it up so simply what you can do so let me let me run it up then after that we'll go with the we'll go with the data now here when you do this from okay from what is the table name customer table just try to understand how the data look like so here you can look at it this is the customer can you see here what is the balance so first case when you mention deposit one lakh rupees which is going to come here also when you mention withdrawal withdrawal is coming and at the same time here you can see deposit it is going to be zero so which means what it is going to happen it is going to generate the data like this now what you want it you want it to sum it up how you can sum it up simply you can do group by group by customer id if you do sum it up what it is going to happen so whenever you are doing the group by obviously what it what you should have it you want it to sum it up right so simply you can mention sum okay here you are doing the total and here you can close this okay sum of deposits here also you can do sum of sum of deposits nothing but here sum of withdrawals now let's go ahead and look at it each customer level what is the deposits what is the withdrawal now on top of it simply i can write it up one simple stuff okay simply i can write it up one sim simple thing simple inline view okay so what is that customer id comma deposits so you can write it up as expression deposits minus withdrawals then you you can get the current balance so same thing which we are going to mention as account balance as account balance from what is that from here this is the what we we have to do that we have to do that so now you can see whatever you are expecting now even if you wanted to do order by order by customer id you can go ahead and you can do that simply to make it much more clear now you can see this is the way you have to answer this case. this is the way you have to answer this question that's it for the day thank you and we are going to start new batch on february 15th if you are interested please do get back to them thank you guys have a great day